Hello there, my dear first graders. How are you? Here we are back again with another art project for you, okay? Now, this week, we're going to get our inspiration from a very famous French artist named Matisse, okay? Henri Matisse, okay? Or Henry, okay? But he's French, so Henri. Okay, so Matisse, okay? You got his name right here? Matisse was a very, very interesting artist because he was a painter, okay? As you can see, that's a painting of him here, okay? Right? That's a self-portrait, which means he painted himself, okay? He didn't paint it himself, no. He looked at the mirror and made a painting of himself. Now, if you look at his paintings, okay? You see, I put it here for you. If you look it carefully, there's something unique about his paintings, okay? They doesn't look very realistic like him, right? Because probably he didn't have a yellow nose and a green and a green front and you know all of those greens all over. Well, that's because Matisse, when he started painting, he decided to be very unique. And what he wanted to do is he wanted to make everything with very bold colors, like you know, very like reds and greens and orange and pinks and very very bold okay so bold that people start calling him the wild beast yes the wild beast because his paintings were so aggressive and strong with color at the time so we're talking about more than a hundred years ago okay now Matisse when he became a little older he got a very very bad disease and he was confined to a wheelchair as you can see it here Right? Now, he couldn't move around, he had to stay in bed all the time. And one of the problems with that, he started shaking too much and he loved to paint, but he didn't want to stop making art. At that time, he was already a famous artist, he was already selling his painting. So what he started to do is he said, you know what, I cannot paint because my hand is a little shake, but I'm going to paint with the scissor. What? Paint with the scissor? How can you paint with the scissor? Well, he said that, but what he meant is he's starting to make cutouts. And that's what you see in here. And some pictures I'm putting in here for you. See? So he's starting making this amazing cutout. So what he would do is he had an assistant. And he would work, cut out something, and then his assistant who posted on the wall for him and he would say, okay, so let's arrange like this, move that one in there. And he started to arrange those enormous, gigantic cutouts like the one you see here in the picture. That's in the museum. So walls of cutouts. What was cool about that was that before Matisse, people didn't think that cutout was a kind of art. They just thought that was like kids play, okay? Well, you know what? What they didn't know is that we kid we know how to play, right? So, it became a kind of art. And that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to make a cutout. I want you to think about when you were doing a cutout. I want you to think about how your shape is going to be. Okay? Because if you remember, we talked about this before. If you don't remember, I'll talk to you again. There's two kinds of shape. Okay? There are geometric shapes. Like the one you see here from Mr. Matisse, right? He used geometric shapes here, squares, rectangles, triangles. And then we had the organic shape, something like this, you see? That's an organic shape. So Matisse loved organic shapes. So organic shapes are shapes that are inspired by nature, okay? They're not triangles, they're not squares. They're more like, you know, they remind you of a leaf or they remind you of a of reef or a coral in the bottom of the sea. So that's what Matisse looked for in his art. So he has those walls and walls of organic shapes all over, okay? Flowers, they look like flowers. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, before we move on to the table and I'll show you how you can do a Matisse yourself, okay? We're gonna talk about scissors, just for a minute, okay? There are many different kinds of scissors out there, okay? I don't know which one you have at home, but here in the art classroom, I have this one that is mine, and I have two different kinds of scissors that I use here in the classroom. See, that's a two finger scissors. You work like this, okay? And then the most common scissor is this one. 
See, it has one little tiny hole and one big hole. So when you're working with the scissor, I want you to think about something. Put your thumb on the little hole, okay? And put your other fingers here. Now, see, there are two ways to put your fingers here. You can either put all your fingers there or you can leave one finger out, okay? I like to leave my pointy because I can kind of move the paper away, but you don't have to do that. You have to find what is comfortable for you. Second important thing, okay? After you got a grab of the scissor, okay? Try to always work with your thumb out, okay? Cutting paper that way, you can see very well and you cannot do a good job. So the best way is keep your thumb up when you're cutting. So always remember that. Third tip, when you are cutting, okay? Actually, it's two hands work. Yeah, a lot of people think, oh, you know, I just did the scissor with one hand, so just one hand is gonna work. No, they're wrong, yes. You know why they're wrong? Because cutting is a two hands work. One hand holds what you're gonna cut, and the other one moves the paper around, okay? So what you have to do, let's say that you wanted to cut a circle here, see? So I go like this, look, I start cutting, and I keep moving the paper with my other hand. Look, whoa, 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 hey, what was that? Sorry, hmm, there you go, again, yay. So I keep moving with my other hand. You see my other hand? It keeps moving the paper, see, see? That's why, so my hand really, it stays kind of in the same place, and then I keep moving, right? So. My other hand had to move the paper so I can cut it. Oh, that's pretty cool, Mr. Souza. I was not even looking at what I was cutting. I was just moving and looking at you. All right, now, that's very important. Remember, you're gonna cut, your thumb is gonna be up, and you're gonna be moving the paper with the other hand, okay? The last tip, when you're cutting paper, okay, a good idea is to practice a straight line before, okay? is what we do the chop, chop, chop. Now, don't go and cut like this. Look, open, close, open, close. Put your scissor and try to do chop, 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 without closing the scissor all the way. See, it looks like an alligator. Chop, 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 chop. Got it? Chop, chop, chop. Now, let's do a straight line chop, chop, chop. Look, chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Got it? So that's the tip for you, okay? All right, so remember, thumbs up, little hole for your thumb, all the other fingers on the other part if you can fit, otherwise leave one or out, okay? Keep thumbs up, and when you're cutting, try not to go open and close. Open and close. Try to go chop, 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 chop. That way, your cut is going to look better and you're going to have more control of the scissors. Now, remember, that's an important tool for us artists because we can make a cut out, right? And then I'm going to move to the table. When I'm on the table, I'll talk to you about glue. All right, my dear friends, let's go to the table. Here we go. Okay, so here is my paper, okay? All right, so... I have in here, I have in here like, you know, some yellow paper, some blue, some red, right, the primary colors, and I also got this piece of purple paper, okay? Now, I'm going to use this as my background, but you can use any color background you wanted, okay? It doesn't have to be white. Now, there's two kinds of glue out there. There's this glue here, okay, this thick glue. All right, and then there's white glue. I love white glue, but I'm not sure if you have white glue at home, okay? But I'll show you how to use both, all right? Okay, now, my suggestion for you is draw the shape you want first, okay? All right, and then you put the glue on that side that you draw. Look, I can go, I'm gonna just try to copy a Matisse, look, see? So I'm gonna make a draw like this, and then I'm gonna make another one, see? And I'm gonna make another one, right? 
So I can put my hand there and trace just a few fingers. See? So that's kind of organic shape. Now look, when I am cutting, see? I'm gonna go like this. Remember the chop, chop? Look, chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Now, you see my other hand is going to move the paper. Look, chop, 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 chop. See? Chop, 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 chop. Okay? Chop, 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 chop. See? Always moving the paper with my other hand, my thumb always up. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, 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 chop. Wow, a lot of chop, Mr. Souza. Hey, that's pretty cool. Huh, it looks like something, right? Okay, so I'm not gonna glue yet. I'm gonna put it there and I'm gonna cut some more. You know what? I'm gonna use this one too. Okay, so. Now that I finished, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan my Matisse. See? So I'm going to see how I like it. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Now, if you had glue, See, I had the pencil lines here, so I'm gonna put the glue on this side, okay? But, I'm gonna press a little bit, okay? Press, press, all right? Now, if you are using white glue, Okay, you hold here and you open the bottom. Then you have to go very, very gentle. So you put a line because a line is just fine. Look. Okay, now stay away from the edges so it doesn't bleed out. Right? I'm gonna put it here. Look. And then I have to press and count. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Okay? So that's what I'm gonna do with everything else. All right? So look at here now because we're gonna move a little fast. Oh, how do you like it? Oh, maybe like that. Oh, maybe like that. Oh, maybe like that. You know what? I think like that. See? So, I am the artist. I create it. I choose how it's going to be hanged up. Okay? I didn't like that. I was not happy with that. That was okay there. But that's the way I chose. It's my creation, right? I am the artist. That's a good thing about being an artist. You got it? So, that's your Matisse. Important couple of things, don't forget. When you're using your glue, a dot is a lot. 
a line is just fine okay so go easy with the glue if you're not using the stick glue if you're using the white glue sometimes you have to press and hold it make sure you spread it out okay i like to press and hold and i count to 10 so you can practice spanish like uno dos tres cuatro cinco seis siete ocho nueve yes that's a good way to do okay now press in place make sure it's all spread out otherwise the people the paper will curl out it will not look so good okay all right my young Matisse I mean first graders okay looking forward to see your artwork and I'll talk to you next class and I'm gonna have to find a place to hang out my Matisse because I am very proud of it okay bye bye talk to you later